hello everyone welcome to civil mania so today i will be explaining one of the example which is based on bpdu guard and root guard okay so these are the two terms which are used BP actually bpdu guard is used to stop the hackers or attackers i will explain in a very simple way by showing all the details how bpdu guard uh, will work as well as guard root or root guard how it will work so let me uh, make the architecture first okay now let me connect all those switches okay so and remember that but in this exercise i have used one one pc in each of these switches and all those three switches they belongs to the vlan one so i don't have to create vlan one vlan two and all those uh, things okay so first of all let me move to the switch number one command line interface there I will type enable config T and then after that I will uh, select the three interfaces that is interface range interface range 1 2 and 3 all are FA 0 slash 1 2 3 that is switch port mode trunk okay switch port mode trunk now i'll move to the uh, second switch here also i'll move to the uh, command line interval here enable config t then interface range 1, 2, and 3. Then then switch port mode trunk. Switch port mode trunk done. For this two, uh, for this one as well as this one, I have done. Now let's move to this switch. Here enable config t then interface interface fa0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk okay then interface fa0 slash 2 switch port mode ss switch port SS VLAN 1 now let me move to the another um, switch enable config T then interface interface range what is the interface range 1 and 2 interface range fa0 slash 1 2 2 switch port mode trunk okay now 
interface interface fa0 slash 3 switch port mode ss then switch port ss vlan 1 done now let me move to the another switch here also enable config t then switch port then the interface then interface fa0 slash 1 interface fa0 slash 1 is uh, the trunk switch port mode trunk then interface fa0 slash 2 then switch port mode ss then switch port ss vlan 1 done okay along with that i have to use uh, along with that remember that here vlan are uh, present so i have to use one command that is that is spa mora spa mora copy it and type it everywhere in all the switches okay so for all the switches i have uh, typed as spanning tree mode rapid uh, pvst rapid pvst then after that now i will move to the let me move to this switch and here I will uh, type one of the command that is that is interface fa0 slash 2 interface 0 slash 2 spanning tree interface 0 slash 2 then spanning tree port first then after that spanning tree after that spanning tree port first after that spanning tree after that spanning tree bp bpdu guard enable spanning tree bpdu guard enable but remember that I have not enabled this spanning tree BPDU guard in all the switches. Only I have enabled this command in only this uh, uh, switch to show you that what how this uh, BPDU guard enable command will work. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me now. Uh, see first of all i will show you that this uh, interface this fa0 slash 2 interface is actually now in a working condition it's in on mode now let me do one thing that's uh, suppose a hacker uh, wants to remove this pc and he wants to connect this switch with another one switch suppose he will connect another one switch along with that and he will try to connect this to switch then i hope you can see now the interface will not switched on because uh, here the bpdu guard is being enabled i can show you here see here it's reason bpdu guard error detected on your in error disabled state so now the now this one is in a down state see here this will now not switched on the reason is bpdu guard is being present so because of this presence of bpdu guard it will not be in a active state and uh, the error will be uh, shown in this manner 
error disabled bpdu guard error detected on this okay so uh, in order to switch it on i have to manually do it manually switch it like uh, shutdown then no shutdown i have to write as shutdown then i have to write interface interface fag shutdown then then after that no shutdown then it will uh, switched on but again it has been switched off the reason is bpdu guard is being enabled so if i need to enable it then i have to rem uh, remove this switch now i have to remove this switch and i have to connect one pc again because in the earlier configuration one pc was connected not the switch so now let me again connect with a so now it's switched off but i have to manually switch it on like interface fa0 no shut uh, sorry first of all shutdown command i have to use then no shutdown no shutdown now it will switched on see after that it will now not be in a off state because i have administratively powered on but if instead of this pc another switch will be connected then it will be never in a on state though i will uh, administratively power on but it will never come to a power on state this is the work or the function of bpdu guard now uh, along with that let me show you another one function that is uh, root guard so suppose uh, let me move to this switch and here i will type spanning tree vlan1 root primary spanning tree vlan1 root primary okay so i will make this um, switch as the root bridge spanning tree vlan1 root primary after making this one as the root bridge here i can uh, here i have make this uh, remember that here i have make this switch as the root brace so i can see check in this uh, switch that do show spanning tree do show spanning tree so here you can see that here there are the three interfaces f01 f02 I mean all these are in a designated state designated and forward state so it means here all the interfaces are or all the interfaces or all the ports are designated port neither it is uh, backward designated uh, neither it is uh, backup designated port or root port so uh, here all the ports are in a designated state so we can directly say that this is the this switch is the root root bridge but suppose remember that but suppose its priority is uh, the lowest suppose i will make the priority of this one this switch as the lowest but now this switch will get converted into a root bridge so in order to avoid this uh, root bridge conversion from this one to the this uh, uh, switch i will provide root guard in this switch so uh, let me do one thing let me provide in this switch first of all let me uh, see do so spanning tree active
दो सौ स्पेनिंग ट्री एक्टिव दो सौ स्पेनिंग ट्री बाय टाइपिंग द कमांड दो सौ स्पेनिंग ट्री एक्टिव वी कैन यू कैन सी हियर आल्सो इट हैज सोन डिजिग्नेटेड पोर्ट एंड फॉरवर्ड पोर्ट बट अलोंग विद डेट बाय टाइपिंग द कमांड दो सौ स्पेनिंग ट्री एक्टिव वी कैन इवन चेक दैट व्हाट इज द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ दिस ऑफ दिस स्विच The priority of this switch is this is the root ID. Its priority is two five four two four five seven seven. Its hello timer is two seconds. Its maximum age is twenty seconds, and its aging time is twenty seconds. And its forward delay all are. So, uh, or I can also show you by another one command that is do so spanning tree detail. See in this detail command, uh, here you can see this VLAN one is executing the RSTP spanning compatible spanning tree that is Spamura is active. Its priority is two four five seven five seven six. Hello timer maximum is timer forward delay. We are the root of the spanning tree. Then. Uh, And remember that port number one of VLAN, this zero zero one is designated forwarding. Forwarding is, and after that, its priority. I hope you can see everywhere what is the uh, priority. And for port number two of VLAN one is designated forwarding. Its priority is also two four five seven seven. And uh, for third also, its priority is two four five seven seven. So all its priority is two four five seven seven. But suppose remember that uh, if I will, if I don't want to uh, change the priority of this one, or if I don't want to change this switch as a bridge root, I have to provide here root guard. So let me provide here root guard. now interface f na uh, interface so in the switch i will type interface range f a 0 slash 1 2 3 all the three which those i have made trunk in those three interfaces i will uh, type spanning tree guard root spanning tree guard root Okay, in all the three, I have provided spanning tree guard root. Now, let me do one thing. Now, let me provide a spanning tree guard root. I have provided here. So now, let me do one thing. Let me. Uh, in this switch let me change the priority enable enable config t then after enable and config t now next one is now is spanning 3 VLAN one priority. VLAN one. See, spanning tree VLAN one root, or spanning tree VLAN one priority. Now I'll set the priority below, below the priority of this switch. This switch two four five seven seven. So. I will now write anything in the multiple of four zero nine six. So let me write as either zero. Zero is the lowest. So if I will uh, uh, tell uh, provide the priority of zero or four zero nine six, which is the second lowest, then accordingly this switch must get converted into the Root bridge, but now 
this one will not convert it into root bridge because uh, here I in th because in this switch I have provided guard root command so this guard root command will not um, allow this switch to become a bridge root though I have reduced each priority so let me check once more in this one see spanning tree root guard block port number 03 tried to become non designated in VLAN 1 see you can see this root guard command has blocked the port number 3 because port number 3 they tried to become non designated from designated port because in a root bridge all the port are designated but it tries to become non designated and if one of the port of a root bridge become non designated then it will get converted from from bridge root to from root bridge to uh, another state so let me check let me again check whether uh, do show spanning tree detail see its priority is this much and no by uh, by i'll show it by spanning tree do show spanning tree active see designated forward designated block designated block but remember that though it has gone into the blocking state this one and this one are in the blocking state but still remember that those ports are in the designated port it means that this one is the root bridge this bridge is or you can also see it here that this bridge is the root though i have reduced each priority but this one will not become root bridge so let me check do show spanning spanning tree active see here forwarded forwarded no here designated 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 priority and its priority is this much but still so you can check it here this uh, i have reduced its priority so it has become bridge root priority is this much it is lower than 205 double span so here it uh, this bridge is the root but two roots two switches can never become root bridge so uh, here uh, what is seen is a one kind of error in packet tracer so let me do one thing let me save and let me uh, switch on again let me save it first of all VP guard and guard root save let me do one thing let me power off now again let me switch it on let me check once again
say this is the root bridge this is the root bridge though it's in the blocked state but still this is the root bridge but this is not the root bridge though its priority is lesser but this one is actually not the root bridge so this is what uh, how bpdu guard will work as well as bpdu guard will work as well as root guard will work so if you like the video then please subscribe my channel and place the like button and thanks for watching my video